Good morning from Buenos Aires. It's day two. And unfortunately, today is not as nice a day as we had yesterday. But the good news is the Marathon Tours Company has arranged for us all to go on the tour of Buenos Aires anyway. So we're going to be spending most of our day, well, most of our morning at least, on the bus and out of the rain. But we're going to hit a lot of the main sites uh, around the city. And we just finished with our breakfast, which is provided by the hotel and the tour company. So there's a nice lot too. of really good food. Yeah. Um, anything from like a lot of pastries, hot bar, and yogurt. It's just pretty lavish. And a tip, if you ask for milk in your coffee in Buenos Aires, they are going to give you mostly milk. All right, we're going to start our day with some highlights of Buenos Aires. What we are going to do this morning, it's raining, but it doesn't matter. We will be able to do everything we are supposed to. You see the San Martinian Institute, that man on the big banner, obelisk oh, is a bad copy of the one in Washington. So we made the other half that love her, don't like the monument, because the monument actually is very ugly. Monument that Spain gave us by 1910. Um, the architecture changes. Our first stop today is the Recoleta Cemetery. This is where Eva Peron has a mausoleum, I think. And it's a cloudy day, and we're told it's even better to see it when it's cloudy because the colors are better. statues and broken mausoleum that you could actually look in and you can definitely see coffins and some of them are small. So much about being rich and famous and get buried here in Recoleta Cemetery. these mausoleums start to fall apart because no family is claiming they're deceased or you know everyone has died so what they have to do is they'll leave them in this condition for I think 20 to 30 years and if no one claims them they will take the bodies out and put them in an unmarked grave uh, somewhere else in the city and they will actually sell these to another family this one here is probably one of the ones that's going to be sold off soon because it looks in pretty bad shape too much but right behind us is the Evita Peron uh, mausoleum yeah that's the word for it <laughs> It was a pretty interesting experience. I expected Ava Peron's mausoleum to be massive. Now that you see it, you realize she wouldn't have wanted that. But she was an advocate for the people. She is the person that basically made the eight hour work week, minimum wage, child labor, all that stuff. A lot of the bad things went away with her and her husband. So to give her a massive mausoleum, she wouldn't have wanted that at all. So it was an interesting experience, even if it was a little rainy. <laughs> and a very quick visit, only like 20 quick. minutes. I read in La Scala, which is the opera house of Milano. So this is the major square of Buenos Aires and this is where all the colonial buildings were located and of course there are some several landmarks such as the cathedral, the federal bank, the and hall. the city hall, the pink palace, the highlight of this area. And you can see behind us now you can see the Spence. This is the place where everybody comes to demonstrate. They said they have weekly demonstrations. It's kind of like Paris. They'll demonstrate over every, anything. And when they do, they lock this fence so people can't rush the building. Our tour guide told us that after the Peron, there's a balcony that she used to speak with the uh, crowd and she didn't sing at all. I thought she always sing the whole no, time, no. right? Yeah, she did not come out and sing Don't Cry For Me Argentina. Ever. <laughs> anyway, this is the palace. We're gonna get down and take a look at it before we have to rush back to the bus.
third and final stop during this tour this is the uh, La Boca neighborhood which is a very touristic Buenos Aires unfortunately it's a rainy stop so we're gonna be here for 30 minutes and I'm not sure what to film or whether we can do it a lot <laughs> alley of Buenos Aires is called the La Caminito. It's a small alley where all these colorful houses. It just highlights the, the first immigrants arriving in Buenos Aires. It's neat and then you can do a lot of tango photo ops here. exploring the streets of I guess it's called the Via Florida this is a pedestrian only street and then just like the hub of the commercial I guess the tourism of Buenos Aires and there's just a lot of people who try to solicit you with businesses and mostly are trying to exchange for your money every 10 20 feet there's somebody asks for a cambio which is you know change your money I'm mad for Charles Schwab, we're just letting you know that if you want a card that does refund your ATM fees, that's it. This is a mall. It's a national historic monument for architecture and these frescoes that are on the ceiling, which are all original. But it's like a mall. We just ate at a food court in this mall. Really kind of cool. Right behind me is something called the English Tower. This was a gift from the UK to Argentina to celebrate Argentina's independence from Spain. Uh, at least it used to be called the English Tower. That was up until the Falkland Islands War between Argentina and the UK, and Argentina was so annoyed at the UK that they actually renamed this place to the Monumental Tower, which to me sounds kind of silly, and I guess it must have to most Argentinians as well, because people here in Buenos Aires, they never call it Monumental Tower, they just refer to it as the English Tower, and no one calls it Monumental Tower ever. But it's really nice, it looks pretty nice in the center of the city. So ironically, just across from the English Tower, they built a monument to honor the Falkland Islands veterans, which is kind of ironic. Highlights of Buenos Aires. IRS? <laughs> Buenos Aires? Did I say that? <laughs> you did say that. Somebody has to do it. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. Out of these windows, just right behind me. There where she's standing, singing to the nation. 